Working across cultures. 3. Managing international teams. Track 9. Right. And what are some of the practical considerations involved? Well, management of international teams leads to particular problems. Team members will have expectations about something simple like the number and purpose of meetings. In some cultures, team meetings are simply for planning. People then expect to be allowed to get on with the work. For others, meetings are more about keeping track of what's going on, to share ideas about progress, to talk about problems and mistakes and how to rectify them. Obviously, with virtual teams, another factor is the difference in time zones, which can make the scheduling of meetings problematic. Yes, and don't forget, if teams do meet face-to-face, -face, there are other considerations like body language, dress and manners. A good example is the simple handshake. This can be very different from culture to culture with different connotations and meanings. Should you look the person in the eye? How firm should the handshake be? In some cultures, a firm handshake while maintaining eye contact is seen as a sign of trustworthiness and sincerity, whereas in other cultures it can be seen as challenging and over-assertive. Thanks very much, Dale. You've really given us something to think about. So, Julie, moving on. Can I ask you about the sort of training which would help to influence...